htjela bih reći da kaštita rijeka kao takva ovdje nije samo to, nego je to pitanje demokracije. Democracy, human rights and rule of law. I vladevine, dakle, ljudskih prava i vladevine zakona. Ja? Uh, our, our struggles in Kosovo uh, are similar to what everyone, I guess, is experiencing. Uh, however, in the town that I am from, our struggles have been that there has been uh, a lot of secrecy around the issue of the destruction of the river. No one could speak about it. Dakle, htjela bih da kažem da naša borba uh, je vrlo slična Uh, naša borba na Kosovu za rijeke je vrlo slično onome što vi uh, uh, isku, uh, ste ispustili, ali bih htjela, htjela da istaknem da grad u kojem se ja nalazim, da je dakle vezano, da je mnogo taj, tajni i tajnovitost je bila vezana u ovom segmentu oko, oko rijeka. And uh, it, for me personally, I, I have a couple of years that I've been, uh, I am an activist about uh, river protection, but i didn't I didn't know that people knew about it and couldn't speak. I just thought because the river is up in the mountains and there is not enough information for people to know. And how I started, I just wanted to let people know what's going on. And the the it has been successful in that sense because I realized along the way that actually everybody knows. Uh, dakle, uh, uh, za mene lično ova, ja, o, ova borba je počela prije par godina ka, kako sam postala i aktivista i nisam bila svjesna da su ljudi znali za te probleme, ali da naprosto nisu mogli govoriti. Dakle, radi se o tome uh, da, 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 da se radi o rijeci koja je u, u, u planinama i da su svi bili svjesni onoga što se dešava, uh, što mi je na kraju pomoglo da zapravo ovo bude uspješno jer su svi, svi znali za to uh, što se dešava. And I mean, everybody who should know knew it, like people in the government and all the institutions, but people outside our town had not even heard probably of what's going on because they had not been. And a lot of people probably in uh, a campaign of uh, the general public learning about this. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, can, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, half of it I haven't heard. There are, there are some, you know, problems with, could you uh, okay. just, you know, repeat first couple of yes. sentences and then the rest? In some, some yeah, problems. Uh, because we didn't think that everyone knew, people who should know apparently knew it, we tried to tell everyone and make it public so therefore it became a generalized public learned about it and that was uh, a great help for the uh, issue for the cause mi smo smatrali da oni koji su trebali znati da su znali međutim mi smo na neki način to napravili javno poznati Uh, and then uh, yes and then the and? people who were in uh, until that time people in the institutions had even been denying never spoke about it been denying that there is a problem but when it became such a big issue in the general public they no longer could deny it that there was a problem dakle ljudi u institucijama su poricali da postoji kao takav problem međutim u vrijeme kad je to postalo opće poznato dakle nešto što se pročulo Uh, više nisu, uh, morali su da priznaju da postoji problem i da ga ne poriču. Our, uh, our success in a sense has been making this a big issue in Kosovo uh, and it has been through, as I said, letting everyone know and also engaging media. That has been our uh, bigger support. Dakle, naš uspjeh na Kosovo, ja bih rekla, je činjenica da smo Uh, učinili da pitanje postane, uh, da svi saznaju za ovo pitanje, za ovaj problem, uh, da se pojavi u medijima i to smatramo našim velikim uspjehom. 
And how we've been able to do it is by first collecting all the facts and that are that is available, collecting the facts and the evidence and presenting it to the media so we get their attention. Dakle, uh, način na koji smo to uradili, dakle, prikupljali smo uh, informacije i dokaze, prezentovali uh, ih medijima i na taj način smo uh, dozadobili pažnju javnost. Because we were, uh, despite the evidence that we were showing, we were still being accused that we are lying. The mm-hmm. company, the Austrian company that operates in Kosovo, Kelag Energy, they even sued me and another activist from our town. And they dakle, just wanted to silence everybody. Dakle, mi smo uprkos dokaza koje smo podastili bili optuživani da lažemo i uh, uh, kompanija uh, 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 koja, koja radi Kilar, kompanija koja je aktivna na Kosovu je čak uh, uh, podnijela tužbu protiv mene uh, lično. Once we uh, had our facts and we were, we were just going by the facts, then we had the public support on our side and even the operators then they had a hard they continued to uh, say that we're lying but they had a, a hard time having any credibility in Kosovo dakle uh, jednom kad smo zadobili podršku javnosti uh, čak i operatori koji su i dalje tvrdili da da da, da lažemo uh, su ispustili određene poteškoće da uh, izgubili su uh, kredibilnost uh, na Kosovu. We have uh, in a sense we've made probably progress in the sense that we brought the attention to the international to the we brought the issue to the intention, attention of the international community in Kosovo. Uh, and this we did by involving them in letters in campaigns that we had organized because uh, U, na neki način, just a second, na ne, neki način uh, mi smo ovo pitanje, uh, uh, strinuli smo pažnju i međunarodne zajednice na Kosovu, uh, uključujući ih u kampanje, u, u naša pisma, u naše, uh, 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 naš rad. And, and uh, that's, we did this because we wanted to go to the highest level of responsibility. A učinili smo to iz razloga što smo se željeli uh, do, što smo željeli doći do najvišeg nivoa odgovornosti. And that was an Austrian uh, company that was supported 100% by the Austrian embassy. A to je zapravo bila austrijska kompanija koja je imala 100% podršku austrijske ambasade. That has been a struggle and still is a struggle. However, that has helped with our credibility in the international community in other embassies at the EU presence in Kosovo because to je bila borba još uvijek je borba međutim pomogla je u smislu naše kredibilnosti kod uh, drugih uh, uh, ambasada kao i EU a koji su prisutni na Kosovu because the facts are out there and they have been able to see what's going on and probably in a sense to if it's possible to pressure somehow the Austrian embassy to get Kelag and uh, follow the law. Because the number one issue was that Kelag never followed uh, laws of Kosovo and resisted, just basically it seemed like they wanted their territory where they operate to be outside of Kosovo's laws. Dakle, uh, u, u, dakle, u, u, u suštini smo zapravo skrenuli pažnju međunarodne zajednice prisutno je to da izvrši pritisak na austrijsku ambasadu. Radi se o tome da je Kilag kompanija koja je operirala, koja dakle radi na Kosovu, zapravo iz, postalo je pitanje da li njihova želja da naše nastojanje da rade u skladu sa važećim zakonima na Kosovu, a i njihove želje da se na neki način izuzmu iz tog prostora i da ne primjenjuju te zakone. Uh... Then we had elections coming up early this year and the party that actually won the elections, a majority government, mm-hmm. had promised that they will fix basically every problem with the hydropower plants in Kosovo. Dakle, and the main issues were... Just a second. Ove godine smo dakle imali uh, uh, izbore, uh, stranka, uh, dakle pa stranka uh, uh, koja je osvojila uh, većinu je obećala da će uh, popraviti, odnosno ispraviti sve probleme vezano za hidroelektrane na Kosovu. And unfortunately, 
they it has been more than six months and they haven't even said a word how they're going to do it or what they're going to do about it. Nažalost, proteklo je šest mjeseci od izbora i od njih nismo čuli niti riječ na koji način i kada će to uraditi. Uh, right now, it seems like there is a struggle between the activists and the current government because the current government acted and still pretends to act like activists. They pretend like they we are taking care of this issue, we will solve it, dakle, just so the dakle, activists are not pressuring them. Dakle, u, 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 trenutno uh, postoji jedna, jedna borba između uh, aktivista i uh, trenutačne uh, vlade Kosova, budući da se ta vlada ponaša kao aktivisti, u smislu da tvrdi da se oni o tome brinu i da će oni biti ti koji će riješiti taj uh, problem. And this is where uh, we are trying and I would suggest anybody not to, not saying not to trust the government completely, but mm-hmm. if they say they're going, to, they're going to do something, to demand them constantly to deliver on what they have promised and what they should do. Uh, our our, our government is unfortunately failing and we have we are slowly seeing that this is not going to be solved through what they have promised. Dakle, uh, i ovo je ono što bih željela reći. Dakle, nemojte u potpunosti, dakle, nemojte baš da ne vjerujete uh, uh, organima vlasti, ali vršite pritisak i zahtjevajte uh, konstantno da se to uradi, odnosno da se uh, kaže na koji način uh, 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 to treba uraditi. Nažalost, stranutečno vlada na Kosovu ne uspjeva u tome, odnosno uh, 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 nije, uh, ne radi na, na, uh, po tom pitanju. And now we're going to have to resort to every other possible way to address this issue because we have the uh, violations, we have the legal violations, and although we had started processes to, uh, with courts, we know what how courts are in the Balkans, and unfortunately, there it's pretty unlikely that you're going to get justice from this. But the main issue and the main uh, thing, good thing that would come out of this, is you get to present the evidence. Dakle, uh, i sa, mi smo svjesni svih pre, prekršaja, zakonskih prekršaja koji su na, načinjeni. Mi smo odpočeli inicirali neke procese pred sudom. Uh, Svi znamo i svi smo svjesni kako je sudstvo na Balkanu. Veo malo je vjerojatno da će to, ti procesi rezultirati nekim uspjehom, ali ćemo makar biti u poziciji da prezentiramo dokaze u prilog našeg, našeg suša. And there could be times that your evidence is completely uh, side, sidelined and probably not taken into account because that has happened with us. But what we... Yeah. Možda će vam se desiti da, da, da će vaši dokazi biti u potpunosti zanemareni, kao što se nama desilo, dakle, i ne uzeti u razmatranje. But we know that we have the evidence that if, if it ever comes in front of a fair judge, mm-hmm. it will be on our side. A because we're on the side. Imamo takve dokaze koji, ako se ikad pojave uh, uh, pred sudijom koji je, da tako kažemo, pravičan, uh, će govoriti u, naše, uh, u našu korist. Having legal help is uh, probably one of the most important things because uh, as we have learned, and in Kosovo, they, everyone probably encouraged us, oh, don't bother, nobody cares about it. You send a lawsuit or you send uh, this to court, nobody cares. You just have to do it. We know that nobody cares, but we have to follow the process of uh, what we have in place and make use of what we have in place. So eventually it works. Uh, dakle, ono što želim reći je da uh, uh, pravna pomoć je jako bitna. Uh, mnogo ljudi na Kosovu je govorilo zapravo o ništa nećete postići, uh, međutim, jako je bitno da se otpočnu procesi, da oni postoje i... Uh, yes? Because there was a case in Kosovo when we took their uh, permits to court and one of the judges found that the permits should be uh, temporarily uh, withdrawn and then uh, and then we had um, we had this uh, issue where ap- actually they didn't they they didn't uh, stop working they didn't stop operating however we have that on our side that this company even when the judge ruled that they shouldn't be operating at this at certain times they did 
And now it's, our case is just getting stronger. Dakle, imamo, imali smo slučaj uh, na sudu kada je sudac donio odluku uh, da kompanija privremeno uh, ne, bi, uh, ne bi smjela raditi. Uh, oni nisu poslušali tu, uh, tu odluku, nastavili su raditi, čak i u toj slučaju mi imamo dokaz da je kompanija usprko s takve odluke nastavila se raditi. And uh, it is, it, I'm, I'm trying to emphasize the point that to use the rule of law and use the processes in place, because at the end, that's what they're going to come back to you with. They're going to say that you never did this, you never did this, we have this permit, you have that permit, and apparently then you can not do anything. Dakle, uh, ono što želim uh, naglasiti je zapravo vladavina prava i potreba da se iniciraju postupci jer na kraju ćete završiti s tim da, ako, da ćete doći u situaciju da će vam neko reći, ali niste reagirali na to, niste podnijeli to i to, uh, uh, niste reagovali vezano za određene dozvole. Uh, in, when you campaign and I guess protect the rivers, there is many tools that you can use and you, it has to work for different countries and different cities and different communities. And what we, for example, in my town, while protests could work somewhere else, they wouldn't work in our town because you couldn't find a, f- a handful of people to talk about this public that, that there is a problem, let alone to go against this dakle, issue. Na primjer, uh, na u mog grada, u, u njemu ne možete naći ni šačicu ljudi uh, sa ko, koji će uh, javno govoriti da postoji uh, problem, a kamo li biti spremni da izađu na proteste? And, and when we would judge the situation and we would see would we cause more, more harm actually to the public by making them go say something that might hurt them later. Mm-hmm. So So our campaign, and luckily we were supported by people outside uh, our town throughout Kosovo. Mm -hmm. And that helped our campaign a lot because other people could speak for us when we couldn't. Dakle, i naša kampanja je na svu sreću imala podršku drugih ljudi izvan našeg grada, Dijem Kosova, tako da je na neki način su ti drugi ljudi bili u poziciji stanju da govore uh, u momentima kad mi nismo sami govori. So the, the, the one thing to remember, I guess, from the whole thing is their job? Mm-hmm. Dakle, jedna, jedna, sluča, jedna stvar koju morate imati na umu, nemojte računati na, na to da će neki izabrani uh, dužnostnik, zvanični... Da je gudra, unfortunately. So we have to... Uh, naš posao je zapravo, just a second, naš posao je da osiguramo da oni rade svoj posao, and uh, the other part is by keeping the and, and it's it's sometimes it's hard to to keep going and be motivated when you have your doors closed at every corner. Isto tako nekad je jako teško da nastaviš raditi i da si motiviran u situaciji kad se ti se svaka vrata zatvaraju. But somehow at in the background, this issue is your pressure and everything is working. In 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 our case is is clear because there's constantly people saying to me, Oh, don't bother, we feel bad for you that you're trying so hard. And and I just I had set up my mind that I'm gonna do this, it's like a job, and see what can come out of it. Dakle, ono što uh, znači, so, uh, što bih htjela reći da sva ova pitanja na neki način se svode na to da taj konstantni pritisak zapravo radi u, vašoj, u vašu korist. Ja sam odlučila da je ovo moj posao, <laughs> ovo što trenutno radim i da ću to nastaviti raditi. 
so campaigning in no matter how hard it may be keep it's, it's always important to keep going because there will be another step and then it will be uh, much easier and uh that's the second tako da moj treba te nastaviti voditi kampanje uh, je, bez obzira na poteškoće koje pri tome uh, s kojima se suočavate jer biće sljedeći korak i nakon toga yes and for us and how we uh, we hope to continue and do our work is uh, to use the uh, the courts in Kosovo as much as we can. I na način za koji smo se mi odlučili je da radimo to je dakle da koristimo sudove na Kosovu u najvećoj mogućoj mjeri. Use the international institutions and even the courts outside Kosovo uh, da koristimo međunarodne institucije pa čak i sudo, sudove van teritorija Kosova so we can have our case heard because we know that as i said earlier if it comes in front of a uh, impartial judge we will win our case dakle uh, i kao što sam rekla dakle da učinimo sve da naš predmet naš slučaj bude saslušan na sudu jer kao što sam već jednom ra- rekla ako dođe pred uh, nekog uh, nepristranog sudiju uh, mi ćemo to dobiti dakle biće na našoj strani we we are really new in sort of i knew that uh, confronting the the operator that is in our town is i say that it's co- like confronting every issue that is wrong in Kosovo so it is hard Dakle, uh, uh, konfrontacija ili sukob sa operatorom uh, u našem gradu je otprilike kao i svako drugo pitanje koje, uh, koje, koje se trenutačno obija na Kosovu. Uh, uh, it is hard and it's going to take a long time and I know that it's not going to be days or months but it's going to be years. Dakle, uh, teško je, znam da se ne radi o danima i mjesecima nego o godinama. But I always say that, um, and I grew up when I when we didn't have freedom. I went through the war, and everything that I had hoped for to come after after that was freedom, democracy, being uh, free in your own land and living there. So everything that what they're doing now is taking away what we had suffered for. Uh, dakle, ja sam uh, odrasla, znači, uh, prošla sam kroz rat, nismo imali demokraciju, na, na, nakon toga smo dobro demokraciju, demokraciju i slobodu. I znam da uh, sve ono što nam se trenutačno uzima, zapravo uzima uh, dio naši, uh, naše demokracije i, uh, i prava. I, I'm just sorry you are warned by, by, by Dragana that you have a very little time at your disposal. So. I'm done, yeah. Thank you. Yes, uh, so our struggle and personally for me is the continuation of uh, reaching a full democracy and reaching a functional state where probably we're not doing it through war or other political but this is just an extension of creating a democratic state dakle ovo da da zaključim je na neki način naša borba je borba za stvaranje demokracije uh, i funkcionalne države ne putem rata i tih stvari nego dakle borba za stvaranje demokracije. I, I encourage everyone to continue their work and I wish I could understand what other speakers were uh, saying but I am very impressed when I hear uh, what's going on in the region and the support that we get from uh, you as well. So thank you very much. Dakle, hvala vam lijepa, voljela bih da sam bila u poziciji da razumijem ono što su drugi, uh, uh, drugi ljudi govorili danas, ali me ohrabruje ono što se uh, dešava u reg- regionu i hvala vam lijepo.